when your spirit leaves your body. There's no coming back. You don't want to go there unprepared. I've been there. The other side is dark, scary, and final. And if you die in false religious doctrines or sin, there is no coming back. But God had mercy and brought me back because He wasn't done with me yet. You must go back Cry loud and spare not. I am one in a trillion, most likely, that ever gets free from serpent-handling churches. If the serpent bites you and you die, that's it. I've, I've never heard of a case like mine who came back after death to tell about it. God can take an impossibility and make it possible. If you can find a man that's willing and obedient and that will cry loud and spare not because that's the only way that will deliver and break the chains off of people that are bound. Only the real power of God can break and destroy those religious chains. Well, many years later, even though I stopped going to these churches, I was still bound by many religious lies and teachings that the great whore church had injected into my spirit. I was bound by many religious spirits. It's what Brother Terrell, David Terrell, said to me when he prayed for me. He knew all about me, but I didn't know him. I hadn't even never seen him before. Brother Larry McAmos told me about him. I was set free in one of his meetings. It takes a higher power, believe me, the real genuine power of the Holy Ghost to deliver and break the religious poison and chains off of you and to bring you out of false doctrines. It's not to be taken lightly. It will doom your soul. Read on Facebook or listen to more of my messages here on YouTube. If God can set me free, Put all the broken pieces back together and use me to be a witness for Him. Nothing, I mean nothing, is impossible for Him because my case was absolutely hopeless. No way possible. And now, it's as though nothing ever happened. I only think of it when Jesus wants me to tell it to encourage others. Seriously, children, my case was absolutely hopeless. There was no possible way I could be used of God ever again. There is no way I could possibly ever tell it all. A vessel totally broken into a million pieces. Tiny little pieces. Only God could do this. Your case, believe me, isn't impossible. Be encouraged. Keep your eyes on Jesus, little precious sheep. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Keep your first love. And always listen to that still, small voice. Even though you may not always understand why, just please listen. If only I had have listened to that still, small voice.